button. All right, here we go. There's something in here. Yep. Holy cow. It's a musky ball, how about that? What's going on everybody? This is my dig stock trip. Can't wait for you to watch it. Um, first day, it was actually before dig stock, I got there a little bit early, went digging with Ken from Practical Ken and Ace from Swing for the Ring. We just went to a park, found some good stuff, and then dig stock happened. And first day was a little bit slow for me, uh, but the second day, unbelievable. I've never been to a place where it just suddenly got hot everybody was finding stuff through the day on that sunday there were over 20 people metal detecting this little tiny strip i don't know 30 40 feet wide 80 feet long it's a really small area and just our group found 34 buttons six coins a lesney toy tons of stuff can't wait for you guys to see this let's go So there is Swing for the Ring, there is Ken, and here is my target. It was a 29.30, expect it to be a quarter, and I got a toy car. Pretty cool little find. Three of the four wheels are there. Cool. To the next. All right, now, kind of worked my way around this way, dug up a massive piece of lead right over there. Right here, got a solid number 12, and it is some type of jewelry. I know exactly what it is. Get it cleaned up later. First piece of jewelry. Actually, the first find for the finds box this weekend. All right, here we are. Uh, it's probably about six, seven inches down. Car number two. I think I remember having this car as a kid. I'm not even kidding. Sweet. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. All right, to the next. My first New York pull tab. Okay, right here, from this hole, had a pretty good signal, 26 or so. It's pretty deep. It's a Canadian coin. Canadian penny. I see the queen right there. And then Canadian coins flip opposite of American coins. It's right there. You can see the date of 1979. Pretty cool. To the next. What's going on, everybody? It is dig stock here beautiful morning 29 degrees i'm freezing let's see what we can find all right so i think this this is my first really good signal earlier the quest wouldn't even work it just said raise coil i found out that's because it was cold much like i am let's see what this 17 is
right there. Okay. I might see it. I do see it. Right there. We have ourselves a pool tab, folks. Farm fresh to the next. All right, I had a 15. Here's my first shotgun shell to the next. So I think I found something that indicates a little bit of age. I don't know what it is. I don't believe it's aluminum. It is this little guy. It's a part of something. But I think it's old. It's my second little piece like this. I didn't film the first one, so I think I'll film this one. I think if there is a house up here, it's probably going to be right about there, is my guess. So, kind of work in this area pretty good. We'll see what we can find. I believe this might be an old style, like full copper jacket shell. I don't know. Definitely a casing of some sort. See if we can get that end cleaned off. Let's see what it is. I think I see my first piece of pottery. Yep. Is blue. Okay, it is after lunch. Changed locations. Got a nail for my first one, so. We'll see what we find. All right, my first really good find. And it's a musket ball, how about that? Dropped, perfectly round. Cool find. Ken, way over there, just had a really good find. You'll have to go to his um, video and check that out. If it's up already, I'll try to link it here in my video. You don't want to miss that find. All right, so I've been hunting for about eight hours today. This is my first good signal like this. It says it's pretty deep. The numbers are a little bouncy, but man, it sounds good. Let's see what we got. Okay, here it is. It was pretty deep. Piece of brass. I believe it might be a buggy brake. Pretty sure that's what that is. To ask and see what everybody thinks. Pretty cool find though. See you next. I can't explain to you how cold I am right now, but Early in the morning, got my first good find. Let's see what it is. Right here, this is our field today. I'll just show you this it's beautiful, beautiful morning. Several people out here detecting. And I've got my first button. Nice. Sweet button to the next. My next find was a 12. It looks like just a zipper pull, but it definitely looks old. And I don't know if you can see, but right there it says yes to the next. All right, I had a solid 18. I may have just found a tacoed copper. I'm not sure. Let's see it laying here. Let's get this sucker out. 
Holy cow. Yes! Again! I found, I found a largie. This is the one thing I wanted to find. Let me get it cleaned up. All right, so here it is, all cleaned up. It is a counterfeit 1925 large scent. Didn't know when I dug it up, uh, Ill Digger was coming by. I asked him about it, I said, hey, it rang up an 18, it was weird, it sounded weird. Um, could it be because it's bent? And he said, nope, where the metal is cracking and with it ringing up an 18 and it sounds different when you drop it on a surface, he said, it's a counterfeit. So. The only large scent I've dug up is a counterfeit. That's so cool. Awesome. Back to the hunt. Not sure what this is, but it might be a button. Yep. They can feel the shank on the back. Another, another button. Actually. What is that? That looks different. It does look different. It may be a pen. Huh. Let's see if I can get it cleaned up. All right. So it is a button. Hopefully you can see this. I'll try to get in the sunlight. Check that side out. What's puzzling me is the back. It's very strange. I've never seen a button like this. But it looks crumbly. I don't know if it's pewter or what, but that is sweet. Now I want to show you this. I did not dig this. There's a plug behind me. Somebody dug and left the plug open. And this is a clump of dirt from that plug. So let's see what it is. All right, Shane's right here. We're gonna see if we can find this thing. There's something in here that somebody left. Is that it right there? Musket ball? It is a musket ball. Check it out. <laughs> Somebody dug it and left it. They, they must have got iron in the hole or something and they didn't see this. It was in the clump. We the checked next. your holes. <laughs> Always double check. Okay, just flip this plug over. 19 solid. Oh, there it is. Right here. Looks like it might be another button. Oh yeah. Third button of the day. Nice. With the shank. Sweet. To the next. Pottery. Very nice. Definitely a home site here. There's supposed to be several, so I'm gonna keep walking this way. Let's see what we got. To the next. Okay, another. Solid signal, let's dig it. All right, still a solid 19 out of the hole. again oh there it is looks like just a piece of brass or just aluminum yep 
a little sweep over it and make sure. That was it. Just a piece of aluminum. Here's a solid 15. Oh. So, it's in that clump. I'm going to guess it is aluminum. Yep, it is. Just some aluminum. To the next. I might have something else really good. I just see green. From this hole, it was down under several rocks. I dug. Pulled all these rocks out. And I know you see it sitting there, right? Could be a button, but I don't think it is. Oh, yes! Oh my, it is a clipped coin. I think it's gonna be like a King George and it's clipped. No way! Be right back. I wanna show you guys how uh, close this is, right? This is where I dug just now, dug that clipped copper coin. This is day two of dig stock which means there have been dozens of people that have walked this field. Dozens, no, no kidding. This is where I dug. One row over, that's where someone else dug earlier. Yesterday, today, it's only about 10 o'clock, so don't think it was today. It must have been yesterday. Five feet apart. They just missed this coin. I mean, I'm glad they missed it, but man. How sweet. All right, here we go. With my fourth button of the day. It took me a long time. I had a, a signal over here that was an eight. And believe it or not, it kept me from hearing this one so well. It was a straight 13 once I got the 8 out of the way. Here it is. Looks like it may have something on there, too. It may have something on it. I'm not sure. I'll try to get it cleaned up and let you know. My next find is iron, but I have no idea what it is or the age of it. I'm guessing it's modern, but I am lost as to what the use could have been. Okay, to the next. My next find is something fancy, probably to a drawer or a lock, you know, something just decorative, it's, br it's brass. It's giving me a 20, 21 signal. I've already cleaned it up a little. It's rolled around here, so it's it's bent up, but you can see it would have been something really nice. Cool find. To the next. All right, belt fixed. Now we start the march back. What a beautiful place. All right, here we go. Heading back out of the field. It's been a great day so far. Lots of good finds. Can't wait for you to see everything. And I wish my boys were here to be doing some digging too. All right, see you in a minute. Right here, it's either a button 
I think we've been Indian. Yep, that's a button. Guys can. Me. Practical can. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, 2324. Out of the hole. Still 2324. Here it is. Nothing spectacular. Oh, piece of copper. I was hoping for a copper. Instead, we got this interesting to the next. You know a spot is hot when you have hundreds of acres and not one soul. You've got this little strip right up here where there were a few houses and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven detectorists. <laughs> and they're all finding stuff. All right, another button. And this one is Tombac material. That is sweet. To the next. All right, musket ball number three for the weekend. Solid 19. All right, to the next. All right, here we go. It is two o'clock. And another butt. Down pretty deep under a couple rocks. Oh, wow. Look at the pattern on this. Pretty cool. The hatch pattern to it. Sweet. All right, to the next. So I think this is button nine on the day. I've never found this many buttons in one hunt. Just a flatty. Shank is busted off. All right, let's go see what Brian found. You see, boys and girls, this is where the magic happens. So even after dig stock, the fun starts. Researching, yeah. cleaning up some items, getting stuff ready for display. So you'll see those pictures now. Alright, so here is all of the finds. What would you guys say is the best finds? I mean, for Brian, these Brian? buttons are just crazy cool. I like the gold, yeah. Um, I mean, he found, definitely found the best piece of pottery, no doubt. And the, yeah, Brian's buttons from yesterday were cool too. Yeah, toy gun, he's the only one to find it. Uh, toy gun. For I, Shane? I would say the KG and the dandy button. Yeah, the KG, this, that dandy is unbelievable. This is a blank firing, blank gun right here. Oh that's yeah, a, that's it's a, crimped. Yeah, it's a, that's a blank, yeah, that's, that's unusual. That's right. Uh, Here's mine, um, I'm gonna just say the counterfeit large scent. That's the best. Uh, and the... KG3 half penny, we, we did ID at 1784, um, a lot of fun. And then for Ken here, I mean, I don't think it's any doubt, it's just one real right here. Uh, so there's all the finds. What an awesome hunt. Glad you watched that with me. Uh, I can't wait to get back to another dig stock. I want to say thank you to all, everyone who organized that. What an awesome event. Um, if you've not been able to go to one of their events or an event like that, you need to um, also, thank you to Ken, Brian, and Shane. Uh, you guys are awesome. Monday Digs rocks. Thank you all. Have an awesome week.